good morning friends today we are going to discuss guiding principles for the deferment of cross examination this is the topic today in the indian evidence act as well as the crpc also we have to discuss so normally there are occasions where the schedule starts one witness will be examined in chief but before the cross examination before the cross examination the other advocate that is defense advocate requests for the deferment of cross examination since he wanted to cross examine all the witnesses on a particular day itself this is being done under section 231 clause 2 crpc but here remember the supreme court held that the <coughs> permission for the deferment is purely the discretionary power of the concerned judge according to section 231 class 2 crpc first of all yes this is the case law relating to state of kerala versus rashid 2018 and the judgment was delivered by justices sir abhay manohar sapre and indu malhotra madam right here please remember first of all let us discuss uh, section 309 crpc so section 309 crpc says the case the trial should be conducted in each case on day to day basis that means without any adjournment so normally every advocate files a petition so for the so called postponement basing on some ground other if the queue is absent 317 if the petition is absent uh, 256 crpc things like that normally you may try to you will be trying to get it postponed but according to 309 crpc when once the trial starts uh, it should be conducted without any obstruction right but 231 coming to 231 crpc in cases and 240 to 231 in uh, sessions cases and 240 in warrant cases they say that on the fixed date on the fixed date the judge shall try shall proceed to examine to take all the evidence in support of the prosecution that means uh, the judge should conduct the trial on a particular date and he should examine all the witnesses but section 231 class 2 crpc says if at all the defense advocate wants to defer defer deferment that means postponement uh, then he has to give sufficient reasons uh, to invoke the so called discretion by the judge please remember it is purely the personal discretion of the judge of course the judge has to decide the matter crucial because section 135 of the indian evidence act says there are three types of examination of witnesses examination chief that means the witness comes to the court and deposes as to what happened what transpired then he will be subjected to cross examination by the defense advocate of course if at all something more is necessary he will be re examined by the prosecution these are the stages of the examination of the witness here what happens is so in this particular case rashid versus state of state of kerala versus rashid this is a case of murder actually so this rashid and along with uh, another friend actually he was having a illegal contact with a woman and uh, this was disclosed to the neighbor that neighbor he has informed his wife and somehow the matter spread like wide fire in the colony ultimately they wanted to do away with that uh, person so, uh, he is a sun sesi sesi dharan or something so he was killed by rashid and others now the security guard he is actually the cw1 uh, so he is witness the security guard he is his evidence is according to 161 crpc his evidence is that uh, he has uh, seen the rashid going to the upstairs and coming back and at that time some people carrying the dead body all these things this is nothing but uh, rest just uh, according to section 6 of the indian evidence act uh, these facts are all relevant he was examined but immediately after examination without cross examination the defense advocate filed a petition under section 231 clause 2 crpc so 231 clause 2 says 
the judge may in his discretion permit the cross examination to be deferred until any other witness has been examined or recall any other witness also why all these things because if once one witness is examined and the cross examination is deferred and the cross examination is also conducted the other witnesses definitely they will know the defense therefore they will get prepared for the defense and uh, here there are certain guidelines given by the supreme court in this particular case there are two grounds for the deferment the first ground is that the witnesses are interrelated or related to each other and they are supposed to depose on the same set of facts second even though they are not related the witnesses are supposed to set uh, speak on the same facts suppose if today that security guard speaks something he is subjected to cross examination then his evidence is over if the matter is posted to some other day then definitely the prosecution they may train up the other witnesses who are also supposed to say the same facts so that means if the witnesses all of them are supposed to same tell the speak the same set of facts then there is evidence there is a chance for adding up or padding up or up to knowing the defense of the accused person definitely they may do some injustice to the defense theory therefore the judge may ask all the witnesses to be present on particular day and examine all of them second part if the witnesses they want to speak the same set of facts here what happens is there are certain cases called as case and counter in a village the group a attacks group b and group b retaliates so on both the groups too many persons are getting injured and the police safely register both the cases as a case and counter under writing cases and send them to the court in such a case also if the witnesses have to tell the same set of facts uh, if they don't tell on one stretch or on one occasion or one day definitely there is a chance for padding adding or threatening the witness also there are certain uh, occasions where the witnesses will be threatened since uh, when the main witness says uh, totally anti to the <coughs> so anti to the accused and uh, if the Uh, defense advocate suspects uh, it may lead to conviction definitely the other witnesses uh, they will be threatened they will be harassed they may be managed also all these things are there therefore definitely it is safe for the deferment of uh, the so called evidence under section 231 class 2 crpc but please remember it is totally left to the discretion of the judge now coming back to the case so in rashid case what happened is the vacuum the security guard examining chief at the time of cross examination they wanted to defer the examination of this accused and uh, they wanted to examine all the other witness that is uh, pws 1 to 7 on that particular day but the judge did not agree because the prosecution stated that uh, this witness is an independent witness and he is uh, his version will differ from the other witness that means the witness is not the other witnesses are not going to state the same set of facts the facts are different therefore there is no necessity for adjourning the case and he dismisses the petition then they approached the high court they went for revision actually high court of course they have got a, a soft corner and the high court said yes you can defer the matter then ultimately the state of kerala brought it to the notice of the supreme court where the supreme court held that the decision or the order of the trial judge is 100% correct because it is a discretion and nothing is going to fall heavens are not going to fall down with the cross examination of that particular witness because the other witnesses they are totally independent and their evidence is totally separate of course if all these things club together definitely section 6 that is rest just a uh, will come into existence therefore it is not necessary to defer the so called case right in other case also the high court of delhi in the case of vijay kumar versus state ne choose kar within bracket lo nct and nct means national capital territory region of delhi 2012 they have laid down certain guidelines here 
in this case rashid case two guidelines that is uh, where the witnesses are related to each other and uh, number two where the witnesses are likely to tell the same set of facts at the time there may be some ground for differing the case differing the examination of witnesses here in the case of vijay kumar so the, uh, the judge has strictly to adhere to the schedule that means sessions you may be knowing the meaning of uh, session court session by session so so no, the particular date should be given to a witness and he has to examine but before that the judge can take advice of the prosecution that means who are interrelated which witnesses are related so if that is known definitely all of them can be examined on one day and this problem will not come and the defense also has got a chance they can approach the court and they can request the court to examine the witnesses on the particular dates because it is the duty of the court to insulate the witness from the influence of harassment but the court held that there is no straight cut or straight jacket formula in this thing ultimately so they have given some more guidelines stating that number 1 there is if there is any possibility of undue influence of the witnesses they they should not be deferred and if the court thinks that there is a threatne threatening to the witness yes no deferment and if the court presumes that there will be any adding up or padding up no deferment and lastly the case should be proceeded with as per the schedule and no delay as per section 309 crpc therefore the supreme court held that the directions given by the judge are the negative attitude of the judge in not allowing the deferment is 100% correct and uh, of course they have gone for uh, 482 that is bashment also both these things are not allowed and the trial court has to conduct the prosecution once again so friends please remember this is a good case law because deferment is lying with the personal discretion of the judge and the the two guidelines may be uh may be acceptable to the judge number one where the witnesses are interrelated to each other and where the witnesses are likely to speak the same set of facts at that time the judge may using his discretion he can postpone or he can defer the examination of the witnesses otherwise he has to continue the trial as per the schedule and there is no deviation from it this is a good case law please go through the judgment thank you very much